State North Carolina bar owners are going to court. Mm -hmm. They're going to ask a judge to allow them to reopen. Yeah, now they've uh, been at the, they've been closed for months because of the pandemic and they've been fighting for weeks trying to get back open. Let's bring in Anthony Castor live in University City this morning. So Anthony bar owners say this is just about equal treatment. That's right, John, and here in University City, there are countless bars and basically those that don't serve food aren't allowed to reopen right now. But in just a few hours, the state association that represents them will head to court, hoping to force Governor Cooper's hand to let them reopen. More than 1000 private bars and taverns have fought to reopen ever since Governor Cooper announced they would not be included under a modified phase two plan. They took another hit earlier this month when the governor vetoed a bill that would have allowed them to reopen. Now, the North Carolina Bar and Tavern Association sued demanding equal treatment. The association president, who's also a bar owner in Raleigh, says they understand the caution during a pandemic, but it has to be fair. Our sister station in Raleigh, WTVD, talked to him two weeks ago about filing this suit. Ultimately, if we can't find any relief through the governor's office, then our only choice is to go to the courts. We believe that uh, bars should be treated just like restaurants uh, and breweries and distilleries. We aren't asking for any special treatment. We're just asking for equal treatment. Now that hearing is set for 10 o'clock this morning, and the court will likely make a decision on this sometime next week. John. All right, so we'll have to wait and see uh, what comes of this. Anthony Castillo live for us this morning. Meanwhile, state lawmakers want Governor Cooper to reopen more businesses like bowling alleys and ice rinks. They sent a bill to his desk yesterday to reopen the businesses at a reduced capacity with employees wearing a mask, social distancing, cleaning equipment. Cooper is also facing a deadline of tomorrow on a similar bill to help out gyms. North Carolina is reporting an increase in positive cases for people ages 29 to 45. We've seen many in that age range packing local bars and restaurants around Charlotte. People in Noda and South End told us they're seeing different responses to safety measures. Some people stand six feet apart and some people don't. You know, state officials say even though the age group 29 to 45 has a lower risk of complications, they can still spread it to high risk people.